this time on Chinivision, an old software catalogue. Something a bit different today, you'll have noticed that Chinivision's off for the summer, back the first Thursday in September. But I thought we'd look at, just as a general kind of random video, at the most wondrous document I ever had as a child. It was the Amsoft Software Catalogue Winter 1985-6. And this uh, arrived at my house at the same time we got our CPC. So as far as I was concerned, this was the whole world of CPC software for our new computer. I, I went through it so many times, looking at all the games that were available, the games I wanted, because there wasn't much else around, really, to find out what you could get for your computer. Amsoft was the software house set up by Amstrad uh, for the launch of the 464. That its aim was to get as many games onto the system as possible, either going to programmers and getting them to produce games or existing software houses. And Amstrad's game aim wasn't to run a software house permanently, but for the first few years, just to get momentum behind the machine, uh, to get as many bits of software onto the machine as possible so the machine would survive, um, which, you know, all those machines that lived or died with you know, software or, or lack of it, Amstrad wanted to make sure that this whole kind of base was there and then they could withdraw from the market, which they did. Uh, eventually, Amsoft was kind of wound down, then eventually uh, got rid of in, in 1988. But Winter 85 for uh, 6 catalogue is the absolute peak of Amsoft. And we have this lovely spaceship cover, uh, which extends through to the back as well. It's very kind of futuristic uh, to look at it. And uh, very nice bit of, very nice bit of artwork here. You get that real sense of there's the Amsoft logo and a spaceship someone's drawn presumably specifically for Amsoft or it's just some stock thing that they've bought for the catalogue. Uh, thank you to Richard Shaw Wright who scanned this for me a, a while back because I needed it for Chinivision and we haven't actually looked at it yet but um, it is 32 pages of absolute joy. So we go in and the first well, page two tells us all about the machines available. 664 is listed although frankly by the time this is uh, Coming out, the 664 is effectively discontinued, but uh, still in the shop. So you've got the 464 there. And uh, Amstrad CPC 464 offers a real computer at a toy computer price. I suppose 199. And uh, was it 199 by now? If it wasn't, it was about to become 199 by now. 664 is disc based brother to the 464. Note the Amsofts or the Amstrad official spelling of disc with a C, as Acorn did as well. Whenever I refer to three-inch discs, I always try and make sure I refer to or type it out as a, as a C, not a K. And then the new 6128, and they talk about CPM uh, Plus, the advanced version of the most popular 8-bit operating system in the world. Ooh, that's, mm, that's contentious, isn't it? Whether or not you are one of the rapidly growing band of Amstrad computer owners or are thinking about buying a system, Amsoft is here to help you get the most from your new computer. The hardware and software described in this catalogue are supplied and supported by one of the biggest names in the consumer electronics industry, Amstrad. All the products featured here have the highest quality and reliability. Amstrad has been wise enough to understand that the highly specialised nature of the computer warrants a specialised service to its users, so Amsoft has been established to fulfil this need. So that's, uh, that's the kind of fairly unexciting part of the thing, because the CPC had its own uh, brochures as well. You've got some peripherals you can buy here. Um, external disk drives, uh, cassettes and floppy disks, modulators, cassette interface lead, lead and a, a stereo sound synthesizer that comes with a pair of um, rather nasty speakers, but better than the one in the CPC. And uh, that's the kind of fairly dull bit out of the way, because what we want is the games. What we want is the games. This is what I used to lust after, well, as well as potentially owning a 664 and a 464 as well, for reasons I can't quite fathom. Uh, still don't own 664, but here's here's the games um, available. And Amsoft had a bit of a reputation for doing producing dodgy software, but in the very early days, it was all about getting as much on the system as possible. 
and we're seeing actually improved software here, actually specifically on the Amsoft Gold label that 3D Grand Prix is uh, produced on. It costs a little bit more, but uh, better games. Put yourself on the wheel of a Formula One racing car and enjoy all the excitement of driving one of the world's most powerful four-wheeled machines. Uh, has stereo sound? Well, they all have stereo sound, really. Um, but it's actually a fairly decent racing game. Do have copy on? Uh, actually, have a copy on cassette and disc. Um, uh, Airwolf by Elite. Not a terribly good game. Uh, joystick only has to be put on the cover just so people know they need a need a joystick. 3D boxing. Can't remember much about that one. Um, calls itself an excellent sports simulation, but uh, it's also on the Amsoft Gold label. And 3D Stunt Rider, the game designed by one of Alan Sugar's children, who are, when Alan Sugar asked them what kind of computer game they'd like to see for their new computer, they said they wanted to see something like where Eddie Kidd rides over buses. So uh, they got some coder in and uh, got him to produce the game. It's not bad, actually, but rather limited. Here we are, Lords of Midnight. So we've got big names coming onto the system. And, uh, well, does Lords of Midnight need any introduction? Some of these games, I think, would have been sold... So I think I know Lords of Midnight was sold independently as well once the Amsoft license ran out. A Tank Command. Oh, I don't think I've ever played that. Uh, Roamed in the Caves, one of the bundled 464 games from uh, a little bit later than this. It, it's uh, The Flea isn't it? Um, the Spectrum and MSX game where you drop down into the caves and you have to jump out. CPC has jerky scrolling, but nice graphics. Another big game onto the CPC, Pajama Armor from Micro Gen. Um, Micro Gen, sorry. Um, and yeah, big Spectrum game, big C64 game. Makes its way onto the CPC via Amsoft. A Roamed on the ropes, get another bundled and Harrier attack. Another bundled 464 game uh, from the following year. Um, very well known Amsoft games. Sultan's Maze, infamous, scary when you're a kid. Uh, Pace. Whether you are totally obese or need to lose a few pounds, this program is for you. Let your computer guide you through a well thought out and varied diet to attain your correct weight. This doesn't seem so much a computer game as something that should be in with the serious software. Um, the program to help you slim. Hmm. Frankenstein. Uh, Frankenstein. I've been watching the uh, young Frankenstein too much, haven't I? Guide Professor Steen Stein around the dungeon, pick out the bones, and they wouldn't complete his masterpieces. Again, I'm looking at this again. I, I've forgotten this game exists. I don't think I've ever played it. I do need to to play it because um could potentially be quite interesting. Assault on Port Stanley. You take part of a brave SRS commando and liberate Port Stanley. Topical, well, topical from a few years before. Splats on the CPC there via Amsoft uh, by Incentive. And Centre Course is a tennis game. Uh, I can't remember much about that. I don't think that's too good. Alex Higgins World Snooker. Amstrad actually got Alex Higgins into Amstrad. Amstrad HQ to promote this. And there's a picture of Alan Sugar and Alex Higgins um, in front of a load of CPCs at running the game. Blagger, another big game coming onto the Amstrad. Um, and uh, Word Hang, Number Wang. Uh, traditional version of Hangman. But you can see, we go there with you, Blagger. The big games are coming across. Glen Hoddle Soccer, another sports simulation from Amsoft, the world's most popular sport pastime has been superbly converted to run on your CPC. My memory says there is nothing superb about this game. Spanner Man's quite good. Prevent nuclear disaster by repairing leaks in the coolant pool pipes of the nuclear power station with a trusty spanner. You basically have to tighten up all the leaks and escape via the top of the level before you drown. Gems of Stratos uh, is one of the earliest Amstrad CPC games. Uh, it's entirely coded in basic and you press escape and you go straight into the basic um it's quite it's it's an adventure game it's a graphical adventure game it's it's quite interesting but not terribly good gun dogs uh, never played it perhaps i should uh, no new release and no artwork there uh, alex higgins pool is um alex higgins snooker with the balls 
changed round. Uh, classic adventure. It's based already on the Colossal Cave. Um, and uh, Macro Cosmica. It's a bit like Elite, from what I can remember. In fact, I think that was re-released on... Oh, was it re-released on budget under another name? Possibly. Am's Golf. Um, all the fun of the fairway. A game played an 18-hole course. I don't know much about it. Same with Star Commando. Don't know much about that. Tombstone. Or Tombstone. Yeah, Tombstone. Uh, disc copies of this go for a pretty penny. I mean, there are some inflated prices for Amsoft discs on uh, eBay. But uh, Tombstone's one that seems to... Tomb Tombstone... Is it? It is Tombstone, isn't it? Anyway, goes. I never played it. Probably should because the disc copy goes for a lot of money. Crazy Golf. Uh, that was game repurposed for the uh, launch of the Plus Two in the bundle of games. With that, colourful game of skill where you must use your judgment to negotiate a series of eighteen holes. I seem to remember it is pretty dire and very basic. Again, one of the earlier AmSoft games. Dragon's Gold had that on on Pirate. Uh, quite fun, limited number of screens. Um, it's all right, actually, from what I remember. Catastrophes. Uh, you have been contracted to take charge of the building site in the middle of the North Sea. Why would it be in the middle? Oh, it, Boris Island? Um, <laughs> the only company, the only copter who disposed of was construct your buildings. Oh, look, I, again, you look at this stuff, you think, this looks quite interesting, which is what I was doing back in the day when I was a kid, looking, I'd like to play that. Um, still haven't got around to catastrophes. Mutant Monty, another big name game onto the system. Traffic, we've covered that on Chinivision before. Quite fun, actually. Seesaw, using logic and basic knowledge of physics. Oh, physics. Say, is this a game? Is it an educational game? By moving up and down the seesaw, you can launch the blocks so you're being thrown to crush the defences and create a gap for your entry using the seesaw as a springboard. Well, the graphics look quite good. And also from Andromeda, Bird Mother. Return to nature with this colourful moral game. Enough sapping the aliens and knocking out the roundies in this programme, you must nurture a nest of young birds to maturity, guarding them from the damage which leaks beneath. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Wong's Loopy Laundry. Uh, that also exists on uh, the MSX and possibly other systems. Uh, Bridget. Least said, really. Subterranean Striker. That's a uh, quite a. It's it, you, it's it's like a, a number of other games on on other systems. You've got a little spacecraft. You can go in either direction. You go into the caves. You pick things up. A uh, Roland Ahoy is another kind of uh, entry in the Roland canon. Uh, you sew your boat around. Uh, you have to uh, get the gunpowder and then go to Treasure Cove and get the get the other the the treasure itself. So I think it's three screens, and then you get back to the harbour. So there's a, there's a few screens there, but it's 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 a little bit of a limited game. French game from uh, Lorcelles uh, Grand Prix Rally Two, which begs the question: Where's Grand Prix Rally One? Um, as I recall, it's a very basic racing game. Jamming, nice, colourful game. Guide Rockin' Rodney through the top twenty mazes to number one. Uh, yeah, I don't remember much about that. And Roland on the Run is from the programmers of Bridget. Running Goes Diggings on other systems. Can't remember the name of it. I've certainly seen it on the Atari 8-bit because my mate Chris had it on his. And uh, Roland in Time. Uh, it's a multi-screen Roland adventure where you collect time crystals. Black Thunder. You think it's going to be a helicopter game? No, it is not. Uh, it's a racing game. But I don't think... I, did it ever get released on the CPC? Hmm... Because we've got no nothing, nothing at all for that. Uh, Jet Boot Jack. I can't remember much. Super Pi Pipeline 2 is superb and available on other systems. And Manic Miner, another big game on the system. Gate Crasher. Um, mm, don't know. You know. American Football, don't know. Really looks a bit... It's a strategy game, so probably no fun at all. Xanagrams came in the CPC 464 software pack. And a uh, Fantastic Voyage, which is available on other systems from Quicksilver. We swim around inside someone's body. 
You've got code name Matt on the Amstrad. And a Fung Fu Kung in Las Vegas. Yeah. Game of Dragons covered very early on Chini Vision. A uh, decent platformer game. Haunted Hedges looks nice, but very limited. Pac-Man clone. And a classic racing and laser warp. Never played them. Uh, moving on, you've got Hunchback. So you've got an ocean game. Ocean testing CPC waters. And Alien is also on the CPC via Amsoft. So you're getting big again. This Amsoft kind of thing of they're, all the games are rubbish. You're getting big games on the system via Amsoft going, we'll publish it and take the risk if you code it. Uh, Star Eggs, no idea. Um, also from Andromeda, who'd had that bird mama thing. Uh, the prize, used to have fun with that, never really understood what I was doing. 3D Invaders got voted in Amstrad, Amstrad Computer User as the worst CPC game of the year. It's terrible. Brax Bluff. Never played it. Alien Break in. Never played that either. Sorcery Plus, the jewel in the Amsoft crown. A superb, superb game. Disc only. Joystick only. And uh, 3D Chess is Cyrus Chess 2, which is it looks looks great, although it's faster in the uh, 2D mode. Stock Market is a stock market simulator. Another big game on system. Zaxxon, showing Commodore screenshots there. Another big game, and coming on Amsoft Gold, was, was Zaxxon on Amsoft Gold? It probably should be. Beachhead on Amsoft Gold, and Raid on Amsoft Gold. A lot of Commodore screens here um, with Buck Rogers and Congo Bongo. I don't think Congo Bongo ever came out. Tapper, another US Gold game. So US Gold committing quite heavily here to Amsoft. Um, again, that's, is that, no, that's an Amstrad screenshot. Uh, Qubit, no idea, as with Astro Attack. And Space Hawks, is it Glaxons? Yeah, a colourful Glaxon-like game, okay. Spy Hunter did come out... Well, no... Spy Hunter came out on budget only on Kicks with the Amsoft logo on the loading screen, but was never actually released by Amsoft and never published at full price by US Gold. Crackerjack from Paul Shirley. Um, again, the person who gave... Well, he, he did crack. It is, it is Paul Shirley who did crack. Or was it Paul Shirley from Spin... Uh, probably should research these things before I start. Anyway... It's, it's an interesting puzzle game. Atom Smash used to play it a lot. Didn't have a clue what I was doing. Another Roland platformer wandering around. It's Jet Set Willy with a scrolling screen, basically. Electro Freddy, we covered that on Chinivision years ago. And Satellite Warrior. Again, no idea. You trade with aliens. It sounds a bit like Elite, but probably isn't. Grafsby had that. Didn't understand anything about it. Roller Go Square Bashing is an interesting, if incredibly hard, puzzle game. Punchy is Hunchback, basically. Scout Steps out. We covered that on Chini Vision before. Interesting game with a tune that goes round and round and round. Galactic Plague. Yeah, it's terrible. It's just basically remember where to go because you will die within three seconds of starting the game. Detective is Cluedo. It's actually quite fun. Fruit Machine, for such a dire game and a pointless game, I, I really hammered that. A Shape and Sound is from Gem Software and you can design sprites in it as you used uh, in the Roland in Time and Roland in Space. And Nuclear Defence, I think I have a copy of that. I now want to educational software, so we'll skim through this a bit faster, but give you an idea of some of the stuff available. Happy letters, happy numbers, some basic guides, animal, vegetable, mineral, which came eventually was bundled with the 464. Happy writing. Star Watch, which I had, which you gave, gave you your coordinates and time of the year, and it'll tell you what stars were in the sky. Map Rally, it's educational, Pippin typing too, so you can probably guess. Uh, time Man 1 came with the 464 in the bundle, uh, in that later bundle. And you've got all sorts of kind of 
educational things because this was a big thing making sure the cpc had enough educational software and we're, we're on to cpm software so you've got advanced ams word is that, C is that one in cpm probably not master calc will though and um all these other software will almost certainly run in cpm so it's proper uh business software now we're into Uh, the, uh, no, if it needs CPM, it will probably say CPM 2.2 needs so it needs that. So, I mean, this is the kind of stuff you'd use to run a business, and you've got account software um, here. Um, doesn't give you kind of very exciting things, just kind of what you need. Easy AMS calc, so you're getting into quite serious software. Home budget, dev pack um, there programming languages you can get for your CPC and screen designer to draw graphics with. A uh, basic compiler. So you can make your, you can compile your basic into machine code. Won't be as efficient as a pure machine code program, but it'll run much faster than if it was in basic. I wonder how many early coders um, made their games using something like that and there's just more there's loads of stuff available in the guides super calc 2 uh also available then we're on to the dmp 2000 printer joysticks and other peripherals as well before we get to the back cover so that's a quick look uh, probably not a quick look actually the amsoft software catalog winter 85 86 it's a thing of wonder and a thing of beauty because it has all so much stuff in there. It shows you everything you can get for your Amstrad. And um, I just used to, until I had more games oriented computer magazines with more stuff in it than Amstrad computer user had, this was the thing I just used to look at and see, I want that game, I want that game, I want that game. And even going through it today, I've just seen games I should probably play those but um yeah a wonderful thing and probably the absolute pinnacle of the amsoft catalogs the other one the earlier ones don't have as many games the later ones amsoft are starting to scale back but thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed that and um yeah uh, speak to you soon <laughs>